Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from JRC. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own alarm system that can protect your property from any intrusion. And by the way, this system is inexpensive and is very easy to implement. So watch this video till the end to know what are the components needed, how to connect them together, and finally, how to program this alarm system that's going to notify you also on your mobile phone. So this is how the system will look like. As you can see here, we have uh, an Arduino Wemos D1 board that is uh, an Arduino replica but with ESP8266 Wi-Fi connection. Also, we have an ultrasonic sensor that's going uh, to detect if someone uh, enters your home. And also we have a push button and a LED light and a small buzzer. And finally, we have a relay that's going to control our big siren. So I'll make a small demonstration before we start. When someone enters your home, I'll put my hand. It will start uh, beeping and it will uh, turn on the relay that's going to make a very high sound because of a siren that you can install. And finally, it will notify you on your mobile phone. And I'll show you how we can do all of these things in a bit. But before we start, show some support to me and to my channel by clicking that subscribe button and liking my video. The components needed for this project are an Arduino Wemos D1R1 board or any board with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So it will give you a notification on your mobile app uh, whenever an intrusion happens. Also, we need a relay so it will control the outdoor siren whenever also an intrusion happens. A small buzzer for testing. A push button like this one. I don't know if you can see it here. And we need this push button so we can arm or disarm the alarm system you have. Also, we need an ultrasonic sensor so it's going to know whenever an intrusion happens. This ultrasonic sensor can be replaced with proximity sensor. And also you can use this ultrasonic sensor so it will know the distance whenever someone enters the home and it will give you a notification and know, know that an intrusion occurred. Also, we need a LED light like this one so it will show you the status of your system using blinking lights. Also, we need some wires to connect our components together, like these jumper wires. Uh, we need them to be male and male and some female and male wires. And finally, we need a breadboard. It can be of this size or you can uh, use a smaller breadboard like the one I, I used in my project. So now, let's see how we can connect all of these components together. Here we have the Arduino Wemos D1 R1. We have also the relay, this is the ultrasonic sensor, this is the buzzer, and this is the push button to arm and disarm the system. And finally, this is the LED that's going to show us what's the status of the system. First, we start by connecting the 5 volt and the GND to these power rays on the breadboard. Then, we start by connecting the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. We start by connecting the VCC and the ground to the 5 volt and to the ground respectively. Then we connect the trigger, the trig, to the digital pin number 13 as you can see here and the echo to the digital pin number 12 on the Wemos D1R1 board. And by this we finish the connection of the ultrasonic sensor we have. Then concerning the push button we connect one of the legs to the VCC and then on the other leg we connect the resistor 220 ohm to the ground and we put also the other pin to the digital pin number D7. And concerning the LED we have, we connect the short leg to the ground and we connect the long leg to the digital pin number D9. And concerning the buzzer, we connect the negative to the ground and the positive we connect it to the digital pin D8. And finally, we connect the relay. Uh, the VCC of the relay, we connect it to the 3.3 volts, and this is important to know. You connect the VCC to the 3.3 volts, not to the 5 volts, because the digital pins of this D1R1 give 3.3 volt trigger. So if you put the VCC to the 5 volt, it won't trigger the relay anymore. So you should put the VCC to the 3.3 volts, and the GND to the GND respective to it. And finally, the signal we connect it to the digital pin D2, and we don't put it on these pins, so it won't make a conflict with the other pins connected to the HCS-04. So this is how we can briefly connect all the components together. Now let's see how we can program our uh, mobile app, and then how we can program our system. Now on our mobile, we go to the Blink app, 
And there you can see that uh, I made an uh, application that I'll show you how you can make your own in a bit. So we start a new project, we call it Alarm System. We choose the device, which is in our case, Wemos D1 R1. So I'll choose the Wemos D1 and the connection type is Wi-Fi for sure. Then we create. It will send us the token to our email or we can find the token and the not symbol on our project settings. So there we, we have to, what we have to add. I'll go to the one that I already did to show you what I did, uh, what I added. So when you start a new project, what you should go and add is uh, very simple on the mobile phone. The first thing that you have to add is the notification. It's already installed. So this notification widget that we added will give us a notification on our mobile phone when someone goes to our house. And then what we should add also is the LED. So it will show us the uh, status of the system. It's here. So you add the LED and we connect the LED to the virtual pin V1 and the notification there uh, you can uh, customize what you want to make in the notifications so I, uh, I turned on the notification when the hardware goes offline so if my system goes offline I will know immediately and uh, the priority is very high so I put it uh, on high because we want it to give us notification whenever anything happens in our house and then we click on OK. So if you want to know the authentication token, you can copy it to your phone or you can email it to your email address. By this, we finish the mobile app and we start playing it so it will connect to our uh, Wemos D1 when our Wemos D1 is connected. So this is how we finish our mobile app that's going to notify us whenever someone intrudes to our home. After knowing what the components needed are and how to connect them and how also to program the Blink app, now it's time to write our Arduino code. But if you don't want to write it uh, again, you can just download the file from the link that I'll leave in the description below. And edit some things like the authentication token and the SSID of the Wi-Fi connection and the password of your Wi-Fi connection. And all you have to do is to connect everything like I told you before and you have a working project. So it's a very easy process. Now I will talk briefly about the code that I wrote. First, you start by identifying the Blink print serial, then including the needed libraries. And in case you don't have the libraries, you just have to go and download them from the library manager here. And if you don't know how to download them, you can watch the video that I'll leave in the cards above. So we include the above libraries, the ASP8266 Wi-Fi.h and the Blink simple ASP8266.h. And finally, the library uh, for the uh, ultrasonic sensor, which is called HCSR04. Then here you put the authentication token that will be sent to you from the Blink app or you can copy uh, through email or you can just copy it to your phone and write it. But if you don't know how to copy it, you can send it to your email and just copy it directly from your email address. And here you change the SSID and the pass according to the Wi-Fi connection you have. My, uh, the name of my Wi-Fi connection is called Jonathan and the password is no internet. And here we initialize our ultrasonic sensor and we call it distance sensor and we connect it to digital pin D13 and D4, uh, D12. The D13 is connected to the trigger and the T12 to the uh, echo uh, pins, as we saw before in the schematic of the connections. Then we identify a new pins such as the siren relay equal D2. This shows that the siren relay is connected to digital pin D2 and the push button to the D7 and the buzzer to the D8 and finally the LED to the D9. And here we initialize the uh, virtual pin that is connected to the LED and we call it LED1 which is in the Blink app. And all of these variables are directly connected to the button push button that you add. Then in the void setup we start the serial monitor or the serial communication and we start blink.begin that takes the authentication token, the SSID and the password of your Wi-Fi connection. And then we specify the pin mode of the buzzer, the LED, the siren relay and the buttons. The above are the outputs and finally the push button is a, an input. We put it here as input pull up. So this input pull up will turn on the internal pull up resistors uh, that are included in the Arduino board. 
Then in the void loop where we write our main uh, code, we start the serial monitor and we start uh, printing on the serial monitor the distance in centimeters. Printing these values will help us to know what are the values that uh, will trigger our uh, alarm system. And then we write bling.run. This piece of the code is used to uh, take uh, input from the push button. But what we need the most and what we'll talk about the most is the call of this intrusion function. I wrote this intrusion function here. Uh, it happens when the toggle state is turned on and it will uh, turn on or arm the alarm system. So this is where most of the code runs. When the alarm system is turned on, it will run this uh, function uh, repeatedly. And here, the piece of code that you might change is this distance. So I made the trigger uh, for 30 centimeters. So if someone passes the 30 centimeters, it will trigger the alarm. But in your case, you can try different values depending where you want to put the sensor. If it's far from the door, like two meters, you put here 200 centimeters. The maximum value that this sensor can uh, measure is 400 centimeters or four meters. So this is the maximum value where you can put the sensor. So four meters is the maximum value that can this uh, sensor measure. So in my case, if I wanted to be two meters away from the door or to be triggered when uh, some object gets closer than two meters, I'll put here 200 centimeters, which means two meters. So if this case happens, it will notify us on the Blink app. There's an intrusion and I'll show you in a bit how it works. And then it will uh, turn on the siren relay and consequently it will turn on the uh, big siren, the outdoor siren. And then here uh, I use this for loop to blink the LED one, which is the virtual LED on our mobile app for uh, six times. Uh, and it will make the buzzer sound for also six times. So as you can see here, digital right, buzzer high and LED high. The LED that is here, the red one. This LED also will turn on for and, uh, and off for six times. And also it will turn on the virtual LED, LED one dot on. It will turn on the virtual LED on our uh, mobile app. And what's more important is this notification that will be sent to our phone and it will tell us that there is an intrusion in our house. And finally, it will turn off. And after the intrusion and after everything is uh, done and the notification is sent, we'll turn off the relay. The siren relay uh, will turn off. So if we want the siren to go on and to be turned on for more time, uh, we can put a delay inside this if statement that will make our uh, siren on for a longer time or we can also add here the number so it will make the buzzer make sound for more time and blink for more time i leave it here five after writing this code what we should do is go and upload the code to our arduino board so we connect the usb cable to our laptop and then we don't forget to choose the port. The port is COM port 46. And then we upload it. And also don't forget to choose the right board, which is the Wemos D1 R1. And if you forget to add the board or you don't see this board, I'll leave also uh, the way how to add these additional boards uh, in the cards above. So now it's compiling and then it will upload the sketch. So don't forget to change the authentication tokens, the SSID and the password according to your Wi-Fi connection and according to the authentication token given in the Blink app. So it's compiling and now it will start uploading the code. So done uploading. Now we can go to the serial monitor. Okay, so it's switched on. Okay, so I'll just put the distance for 50 centimeters now and then upload it again. 
because where I'm filming is uh, there are objects that are closer than 50 centimeters. So, so you just put it where uh, according to the distance that suits you the best. I'll return it to now to 50 centimeters and I'm uploading the code again. And done uploading. We go again to the serial monitor. So it's connecting to Blink Cloud. And it's connected to my Wi Fi. So now it's switched on. And as you can see here, intrusion system is turned on. I'll just turn it off using the button. And you can see that it's turned off and it's telling us the distance. I'll turn it on again, it's switched on. And I put a short delay so it won't arm the system before this uh, delay is finished. In my case, I added the delay for five seconds. You can uh, change the delay if you want. So you can push the button and it will arm uh, after a short uh, period of time. So now it's uh, the distance is 129 centimeters. I'll put my hand in front of it. I'll show it uh, to you on the camera. As you can see here, the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so it, it, the camera triggered the action. I'll put my hand and it's beeping. I'll put my hand again. And there's an intrusion. And as you can hear, the, the relay is working also. Now we'll see how the notification will work on, uh, on our mobile phone. So, as you can see here, a notification is there. I'll pass my hand again. And as you can see here, there's a notification on my mobile phone also. There's an intrusion. It's telling us that there's an intrusion. So that's how it works. Now, if we go to our Blink app, you can see that there's an intrusion and the LED is blinking. And if I turn off the system, the LED will turn on. And here also, the LED, the LED, LED I, I put also is on. Okay, so sending notification to our mobile phone. So it's uh, sending us notifications and it's uh, controlling the relay uh, and the buzzer is working also. So this is how you can make your own alarm system. What I like the most about this system is that it's very easy to implement. And as you can see, everything is included uh, in this video the wiring and also the code that you can download directly all you have to do is just buy these things that are not that are not expensive at all and you can make your own system that can give you uh, a very uh, loud warning through through the siren connected to the relay and also it will uh, give you a notification on your mobile uh, phone through the blink app so if you like this video and found it informative don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button and like this video, that will be a very big support to me. And if you have any questions or any comments, don't hesitate to write them in the comment section below. Have a great day.